and what I'm going to be talking about very quickly is about finding some new inspiration and ideas. So I play a bunch of instruments. Of course, we all have soft synths and instruments on our computers that we use. We program our drums, but sometimes it's the sound, it's the tone of something that just kind of triggers a moment and inspiration and gives you a new fresh idea. So on pretty much a weekly basis, I've been trying to do since last year is I record a few hours of music and then I go through and I grab a kick drum, a snare drum, a hi-hat, maybe a cool sound here, and I'll morph it a lot. But what I'll do is I'll edit it down, find the parts that I like, and then load them up into machine. That's You can do this in Ableton or anything else that kind of has like uh, the 16 pad setup that you can do. And so if you see over here, uh, like I have all these folders from different weeks. And for last week, I picked out a bunch of tracks. So the first thing I do is I go into mine and I go, okay, let me try something slow, like at a 75 BPM, because I know if I like it, I can always double time it to 150 BPM. I might try something around 90, like a hip hop range, uh, maybe a dub range, a steppers range, a drum and bass range. So I'll give you a quick taste of kind of what I've done. So there's two basic tempo temples that I went at. So here's the sounds, I'll just kick through them. And then my own sound that I've got for Massive here. So each one of these, I mean, something that's kind of got like a, like that double shot, you can really get into some inter interesting things that which you'll hear when I do the drum and bass style. Uh, but to kick us off, here's an example. So here's the slow version of like kind of a trip hoppy down tempo. Uh, <laughs> I go, okay, that's that's not bad, that's interesting. Uh, kind of like it, couple ideas. So what I'll do is I'll loop it out. So the first step is to go run down a bunch of ideas. And as you can see, I've got five different ideas on this section. Again, a slightly different style. And if I kick down to here. There you go, kind of a drum and bass style. Hits around like 156, so just under that jungle tempo of 160. And then kind of what I'll do is I'll go, okay, I tried that, I've got three different ideas. And I'll hop over to 130 BPM. And I had, okay, great, let's do this. I said, that's cool. But then I said, you know what, let me add in some, uh, cause down in here I had some extra rim shots and things I wanted to try. So if I put the both together, Okay, that's cool. Then I also have this different idea, which I'll try. So that's just a kind of an idea to kind of try some different things. And what I will do from there is I will loop them all out each piece, cut them up, throw them in a folder. And A, I can build new songs. Like some of these songs I go, okay, there's a nice foundation. There's the eight bars. I'll throw that into my DAW and start working on it and building around it. The other thing you can do is take those loops, open up one of your old productions or a production that you're working on and just sift through them, do the uh, tempo match so they're all lined up. And as you scroll through, it can bring a new fresh idea. So there's a quick tip on something. Basically you're sampling like the old school ways, just modern in a digital format and a different way to work, but it can bring out a lot of new ideas. And for me, I've been doing this a lot and it's actually led to quite a different turn of events for certain songs and new songs. I'm like, well, this was going this direction, but now it's going this direction. So give it a shot. I hope it helps you out and I'll be back with some other ideas very soon. Cheers. Toronto, Canada, Bandadin, la la la, la la la.